Hello, it's Monty. Welcome back to the channel. So today is going to be a project share for um, uh, Scrap Diva Designs. Um, today I'm playing with um, the um, Romantic Vintage Tag Set. Um, I've shared a couple of these on Instagram already, but I thought I would share show them all to you, plus um, some others that I have made. So it comes with three sizes. Okay, so here's the large, and then the medium, and the small. So, let's see, let me tell you how big these are. If I have my thing here, Rosalind always takes off with it. Okay, so this one, the tallest one is about five inches tall. The middle one is about four and a quarter. The little one is about three and a half. So really nice size. So <clears throat> here's what the die set looks like. So here's the dice. And then they also it also comes with a set of flowers, which is really cool also because you get another set of flowers um, for your stash so <laughs> that was kind of cool so you got two of the big two of the medium two of the small okay so that's I'm using still the um, carousel collection from Maggie Holmes so <clears throat> this one I just cut out some of the pretty paper I took one of the um, puppy stickers from the collection and it was a big like long piece I just cut off a, a piece of it and layered it there on the bottom this is an, an older die that um, from Scrap Diva also it's a bow straw topper so there's like three uh, of those layered on top of each other and then I got some you know you know puppy stickers and beads and chains and stuff layered on so this piece here I actually made um, prior so anyway, I thought that looked cute how you could just like, you know, use this as like a, um, you know, as a, as a piece to um, put on your embellishment or something like that to like gift it to somebody. So I have it attached with a garment pin up here. So there's that one. <clears throat> this one, <clears throat> I just have a sticker from the collection back here. This is one of those stickers from Hobby Lobby with the swans. Um, this is the Valentine pennant set from Scrap Diva also that I attached to um, one of these picks it's from the Dollar Tree. And then this is one of the flowers from the from this tag set. And then here is one of the um, banner pieces from, um, um, I can't remember what it's called, might be Pin Flags from Scrap Diva also. So that's one of those underneath there. And then this is a bow that somebody made me, I was gifted, so I attached it up there. And then I just have this mounted here to, um, with a piece of, um, uh, with a foam dot. So again, it could be gifted to somebody like that. Okay, and then here's the third one, the littlest one. So I attached this cute little bead charm up here at the top. And then there's some more stickers and femur pieces and stuff added on. And, and then another one of the little, um, flowers from the collection and I put some cute little pink stamens in the middle. So that is my first set that I made. Now let me show you the second set. <clears throat> so here's the next set. Um, these ones I did all kinds of stitching on. So I did um, paper tearing. So this one I think has got is a gold um, tag background and then I tore some of the pattern paper and stitched it down, okay? And then I cut it out of vellum again, this whole tag, and, and then I cut off a piece up here at the top and I cut off a piece on the bottom. So there's vellum laying over this top piece and at the bottom piece, okay? Stitched this all around, um, added a piece of this zebra print um, ribbon that I had. And then I took the capsella leaves, um, that's a scrap diva dye also, and I just tacked them down a little bit and then I just stitched over the whole thing. So I think that kind of gave it a really cute look with all that stitching, how I just stitched it down. There's really like no dimension to it at all, but it looks kind of cool with the stitching through it. And then <clears throat> this is a, a bow from another Scrap Diva uh, die set. It's um, like the perfume bottle. 
it's a little um, bow that came with that set, okay? And then I have some puppy stickers from that I had in my stash already. <clears throat> I don't even remember who they are, what brand it is, but they I like the black and white with it. So that's the first one. <coughs> okay, next up, again, here's more of the carousel paper. Now this time, um, I have a, in the background here, the tag is cut from um, a piece of the carousel paper, but it's, it's one that has like um, some of the vintage, like words and stuff on it. And then I tore a piece that I put kind of in the middle here. It's this pink and green piece. Um, I put that down the middle and I stitched. So I stitched all around that and then all around the whole tag. Okay. This is the new, I just hauled this, um, the Scrap Diva Double Loop Bow. I love it. I didn't have it, so I ordered it. And I just got it yesterday, so I started playing with it already. I put a, one of these cool big enamel dots in there with the black. And then um, this is a, a flower, again, from the from the um, tag set. And then I had these cute little zebra um, brads in my stash from a long time ago that I decided to add there because, you know, how this has zebra stuff in it. So that turned out really cute. And I just put some, some yarn at the top of that one. So there's that one. Okay. <clears throat> then this is the medium size one. Now what I did with these other two is I wanted it to make it, I made them a pocket, okay? So again, I have, so what I put in the pocket is a couple of these, um, this is from the, this die set right here, the uh, envelope, memory dex envelope die set. It comes with these two cute little um, paper clip um, dies. So this is the oval one and it's layered up back there. And then I use one of these flowers. That is the, I think this is the, um, the shabby chic flower that's layered up right here. So there's that one I put inside there. And then it also comes with this other paper clip that says love. So I just kind of layered those up. Okay. So over here, you can see, I got a couple different layers of the, um, pattern papers. And then I stitched around, you know, the, the cut part and then I'll sew around the whole tag. I made a vellum pocket down here. I have a little line of some, um, uh, what should I call it, uh, trims right here. And then this is the um, zigzag pinwheel from Scrap Deep also. Here's the capsella leaves again, just poking out. These are some cute little puppies that I already had in my stash. A piece of that pretty chiffon trim from Hobby Lobby. And then a couple of, you know, just sticker pieces from the collection that I just um, put a brad through and then just kind of stuck them right there. So then, <clears throat> I mean, what a cute way to gift some stuff, especially in a swap or whatever. So I just kind of tuck those back in there. So there's that. So it's my cute little tag pocket. So there's that one. And then here is this one. So this is the largest tag. Okay, I've um, attached this cute little um, chain link and then with some um, wire wrap beads hanging here and a tiny little piece of tulle tied on. Um, I put a glitter gold hole reinforcer around that one. Um, this again has stuff, this is also a pocket. So here's a bunch of ephemera and stuff from the carousel collection. Again, the flower from um, this collection plus the pink one in the back is a layered piece and that's from the edge flower. So, and then there's capsella leaves again. Okay, and then down in here, I have tucked just like some tickets and another one of those cute little um, paper clips. Okay, so here's my trim. It's a piece just, just just a scrap piece of trim I had in my stash, so I just layered it there. And then this is um, a laminated um, little tag, uh, flag tag that I had cut out from the um, pattern paper sheet. And so I just attached that underneath the trim right there. Okay, so then um, again, this is, the, this is the base piece. And then I tore a section out um, Actually, I tore a section off this 
this side and off the bottom on this side. So we got some of this white and black paper showing through on this side and some of it up here on this side, on the opposite side. And then I stitched down the whole thing and then around the whole thing. So I think that just turned out so cute. And then, you know, like again, what a fun way to just tuck some things in the pockets. And so you've got a cute little pocket tag. So you could do a whole tag flip like this with all kinds of goodies in. So, so cute. Love it. So again, romantic vintage tag set. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. So those are all the ones that I've created so far. I don't know what's your favorite. These pink back ones or these ones that are all layered up and sewn? I like them both, but doing all the stitching and stuff really does give a lot of extra oomph to the project. So anyway, um, I will uh, link this die along with all the other ones that I used, even though some, a lot of these are not ones from the current release. You know, like that one, and that one, and that one, and the capsule, you know, all the, a lot of these are not even from this um, release, but I will link them all below. I do have an affiliate link, so if you use that link, um, if you decide to purchase anything, it will give me a small commission. It doesn't cost you anything more. I also have my discount code that gives you 10% off. It is Polka10, P-O-L-K-A-10. Um, I'll have that listed below, and then all the links to the dies. Okay, thank you so much for watching, and I will be back soon. Bye.